Mars is a hostile planet, devoid of life, with a desert that totally encompasses the globe. It is extremely cold, reaching temperatures of minus 140 degrees Celsius, and what little there is left of the Martian atmosphere is less than 0.2% oxygen, not really the conditions for promoting the possible life on Mars. Yet, the idea of terraforming Mars into a green oasis has captured the imagination of people for decades, and Mars did once have oceans and potential life. We could introduce life to Mars that could survive the current conditions, and start to convert the CO2 back into oxygen. We could even imagine a series of complex operations to bring gas back to Mars to restock its atmosphere back to a breathable pressure, even if this is unrealistic. But this wouldn't matter. Mars would still be inhospitable. Because in the end, Mars doesn't have a magnetosphere. This is the protective magnetic barrier that completely envelops the Earth, protecting it from solar winds. Without this barrier, the atmosphere is doomed to be shredded away by the almighty power of the Sun. But Mars did once have a magnetosphere, and scientists believe that they understand why Mars lost this so crucial protection, and it has something to do with what's going on inside Mars. So, let's discuss it. The Earth's magnetosphere is keeping our atmosphere safe from solar winds. But why do we even have a magnetosphere? When the planets formed, there was a significant abundance of iron, which was formed in previous supernova. This iron ended up forming the core of Earth and Mars. And it's this iron that generates the magnetosphere. While the core of the Earth is solid, it is surrounded by a molten iron compound. The combination of temperature gradients and the rotation of the Earth itself end up making extremely large convection currents within the liquid metals themselves. It is this spiral flow of iron atoms that end up making a solenoid-like shape of current. And it is this flow of current that ends up producing a large magnetic field for the Earth. So why would this stop? There's something different about Earth's core and Mars's core. With the recent rovers on Mars, we have started to get a glimpse on the inside of the planet. And this has showed a fundamental difference in the composition inside of Mars when compared to Earth. Mars has a much larger core, but it is also less dense than we previously thought. Measurements from meteorites also tell us that the Martian core is rich in sulfur, and seismic readings point to the fact that there is significant amounts of hydrogen inside the core of Mars as well. This combination of iron, sulfur and hydrogen is different to Earth, and it is this abundance of hydrogen combined with the smaller size of Mars that may have led to the loss of the magnetosphere. To test this hypothesis, scientists had to replicate the conditions inside of Mars. This is both extremely hot and under an extreme amount of pressure. There is generally only one way to generate this level of pressure inside the lab, and that is with a diamond anvil cell. This consists of two diamonds that have been cut in a specific way to maximize the amount of pressure that they can withstand. In between the two diamonds is a gasket that will be crushed a little in order to make an airtight seal around the diamonds. Inside the airtight region, a gas or a salt solution is placed that will transmit the pressure throughout the diamond anvil cell. Scientists have used this diamond anvil cell to test the conditions below the surface of Mars. They placed a similar combination of iron, sulfur and hydrogen inside this diamond anvil cell. When they applied the pressure to the cell and then heated it, they found something strange. The homogeneous compound ended up separating into two separate compounds, one with more sulfur and one with more hydrogen. It is this separation that scientists believe led to the disruption of the large solenoid currents and thus the loss of the magnetosphere of Mars. In fact, they go one step further and suggest that this separation of the liquids was in fact responsible for the formation of the magnetosphere to begin with. Basically, as the liquid separated, 
the lighter compound went towards the surface of Mars, while the heavier fell further down into the core. And this flow of iron could have generated the solenoid-like currents to begin with, and therefore produced the magnetosphere of Mars. If this is correct, then when the liquids were significantly separated, the current would stop. And therefore, Mars would lose its magnetosphere, which happened around 4 billion years ago. In terms of the Earth, both the size and the composition within the core are different, and therefore we expect a different outcome. Scientists do predict that this separation of liquids does in fact occur within the Earth, but only towards the barrier between the core and the mantle. And thus, this won't actually affect the magnetosphere itself. If you are interested in more research in space, then check out this video here, where scientists are using pulsars to detect gravity waves throughout the cosmos. They use a scattered series of pulsars all throughout the galaxy to measure gravitational waves that are larger than the solar system itself. Thanks for watching, have fun, and see you next time.